So I'm starting to think that you all deserve what you're going to get. All of you. All the horrible shit that's going to happen, you've all earned it. Completely discouraged. Just a bunch of fucking hypocrites from A to Z. All the pain you're going to get, the second wave, hopefully when that second wave comes, it cleans the fucking shore straight from all the fucking pieces of shit. They just spend their whole life looking at themselves and never giving a fuck about anyone until it happens to them. You've all earned it. I think it's going to be good for... Might be good for all, all the ones that... Not the innocent ones. The ones that have, you know, the ones that have no choice but to care about themselves because they can't care for anyone. They can barely take care of themselves. They're looking for another meal in the next day. I'm talking about the ones, the privileged ones, who consider themselves the victims. The poor victims. The poor Canadians, the poor North Americans, the poor Europeans, poor... Always thinking you have it so, so, so hard. Nobody has it easy. But compare yourself to others and count yourself fucking lucky. Always blaming someone else for your problems. Why don't you blame yourself? Take a good look in the fucking mirror. Eh? Couple two, huh? How many deaths is it to COVID right now? Has everybody shaking in their fucking boots, scared? And still everybody out here, even Montreal, protesting in masks. You're a bunch of fucking morons. When I went to those protests, they're y'all wearing masks, but you're fighting the system, but still agreeing with them. Huh? Maybe it's a good thing. It's going to be a, a way for you all to reflect on yourselves. Bunch of people out here. All these people protesting. Never got punched once by a cop. Let's go out and do it. All our friends are. It's the right thing to do. Huh? You're all disgusting. I'm disgusted with you. What can I say? I I was the same. I knew the injustices. And then when I saw how everybody freaked out over some fucking bullshit coronavirus, that's when I got outraged at the pure hypocrisy. You all need help. Maybe it's going to be like a purge, a purge of all the dumb, stupid people. At first, everybody was on board, right, to stay inside and do the responsible thing for coronavirus. Then the second, it started costing them money and they would, their businesses went down the drain. That's when they wanted to protest the anti-lockdown. At first, it was okay to save grandma's life. Stop grandma from dying a week early because, you know, COVID attacks those old people that are nearly already dead. And if it's somebody that's 20 years old, they're going to make sure that you hear about it on the news. But young people die too, in case you didn't know. The moment it started costing you money, 
Uh, fuck the lockdown. Fuck grandma's life. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go out and protest. Don't make me sick. Yeah.